Okay, okay guys, so we today we are gonna get into how to create a basic QB core server from scratch. Uh it's not hard, it's uh somewhat of a simple task as long as you know you what you're doing. So let's just get started, let's get into it. Now in the order that I'm outlining, you might want to just follow along as much as possible. Uh, there will be links in the description uh, to all the resources that you need to get started. Um, so yeah, let's just begin. First off, if you haven't already, you want to have, you want to get yourself a, you want to get yourself WinWar R7 zip because that's what you're going to use to extract your server. And so once this is downloaded, you install it and you move on to the second uh, stage, which is download and exam. This is where you, this is where you'll start your, your SQL, your SQL server or your database, basically. Uh, then you want to download Heidi SQL. So download Heidi SQL. This should have been before, but it's okay. You can download whichever. So download your Heidi SQL, install it. Then if you haven't downloaded exam, download exam. Then we move on to the artifacts. So we want to download the latest version of QB Core, which is currently 5584. As of recording, uh, yeah, it's 5584. So you don't don't click uh, the latest recommended because majority of the time it will give you like for instance it's give, it's telling you to download five five six two and you want the latest one which is five five eight four so you don't want to so just look whichever one is at top you wanna you wanna hit download on so hit download I already have it downloaded which is fine so let's do it again. So you want to hit download, uh, open up. Now, what we should have done, tell you what you should. So on your local disk, make sure it's on your local disk, on your C drive. You want to create a folder. Uh, let's call it QB Core. Call it QB Core for now. You can name it whatever you want to name it. Uh, let's create two subfolders here. So the first one is server. Uh, the second one is, uh, we call it resources. No, sorry, files. Right. So you want to call it files. Now, in the server folder, that's where you want to extract the content of the, the build. The build that you've downloaded. That's the artifacts that you downloaded. That's where you want to extract the build, the artifact folder. So whatever you're using to, if it's, uh, you know, 7-zip or WinWire, whichever it is, open it up. You want to drag, just drag it and drop it in your server, in your server file that you created. Boom. And it's there. Easy as that. You want to close out of that right now. So what you want to do Right now, you want to look for the FX server in the artifact folder that you've just extracted. Open it up. It will open in your browser. It will it will want to link your CFX account. So you go ahead, link your CFX account. Continue. It will tell you to create a backup password. <laughs> doesn't matter so this you can do whatever you want to you can put whatever you want here i'm not going to say it doesn't matter it, it it does what did i do and there we go click have read and accept and click create master account Oh, thanks. Uh, so once we once we got set up on the TX admin, well, we're basically getting set up. Uh, you want to hit next. If you want to give the server a name, just give it a name. Like uh, I'll just say QB Core Custom. Let's call it QB Core Basic. 
you can name it whatever you want to name it there why do i put a c there okay hit next now the deployment type this is where ignore everything else you want to click the recommended and because we're doing qb core you want to hit qb core framework now right here for me personally i try to uh keep things like super you know organized and tidy as much as possible so that second folder that we created which is files you want to whether you want to copy the the root uh, the root uh, address for it and you want to paste it here you don't have to but if you're following along you, you can just do it you just do it this way so it should be Q, c slash cubicore files as you know c drive cubicore files so that's where it would deploy all the resources and assets that, that we need to start the server basically so we hit save and it's gonna buy the recipe basically it's telling you that this is what you're downloading where it's downloaded from such and such all the resources that you need you hit next now as i said this will be linked below in our, our if it's not there will be it will tell you where to get your key master uh which is your cfx your cfx key on key master so in order to do that you i'm pretty sure like you should already have a cfx account yes uh so once you're on your c once you're on your key master you want to look for your cfx uh code or key whatever it is you hit copy then you come back to the server deploy and you paste it right here and you hit run oh oh i'm stupid i forgot make sure after installing x uh heidi which is heidi sql and exam you want to open up the exam control panel and hit start on my sql so make sure this is running that was my bad but yeah it's that simple then you hit run then it will start to deploy and extract all the it will start to basically download all the the resources that you need so we'll be back when this is completed so okay so it has it completed the download and what will happen it will open this window showing that all the files have been downloaded which is your resource this which which should be your resource folder on the server cfg so we can ignore that for now uh hit next and it will show you all of the basically it will bring up it will configure your c your server cfg if there's anything that you want to add you can but you just ignore all of this for now and hit run it will start your server up So don't worry about you will see like stuff like this error yarn waiting fetching and so on. ignore that it's it's because it's the first time that your your server is starting so you don't have to worry about all of this shit so just let it run and then So just don't don't worry about what you're seeing don't worry about the reds the arrows don't worry about any of that okay so <clears throat> but all that done that's basically the server uh you want to give it a restart but just a quick restart so like the errors that you saw before it should be non-existent like something came out uh okay all right 
we're good. So that's the server. It's up. So let's let's start it up and open up 5M. Don't tell me I have to. Now, uh, what I should have mentioned. So yeah, everything should be in your your QB core folder, which is on your C drive, or if you name it something different. So under files is where your resources will be, okay? and your server CFG logo and such. So you can see all the QB core uh, stuff is here. Scripts are here. Resources, you know, the anti cheat, the apartments, the ATM, the banking, and such. Everything is there. Uh, if you're on a local host, uh, if you're on a local host and you're trying to connect, all you have to do is open up your 5M and hit, it should be right here. Below support, history, favorite, it should be there. So you just hit, boom, click your name or whatever it is. Don't load in. Load it up. There you have it. A basic QB core server. Let's just get in so you guys can see exactly what's going on. They tend to like update a lot. So depending on when you uh, decide when you see this video or if you decide to make a, a server during that time, yeah, things might change. Things might be different in terms of assets so on and so forth but it's the same procedure as to how to create a qb core server it's not going to be different it's, it's not changing it's the same procedure same walkthrough uh create this yes. confirm and go to integrity. That's pretty much it. A basic QB core server. There you go. Let's meet up next week. You're on TX admin. As simple as that. Uh, so if there's any other questions, you just leave your questions in the comments. Uh, I don't know if you want, if you guys want to see me build this out, let me know. So just leave a like or let me know in the comments and we'll probably, maybe, turn this into a fully custom server with a lot more scripts a lot more you know we'll get it up and going but yeah that's it there you have it guys a cubicore server done and ready